choice. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world has been behind long ago. We are the future. They have other problems. UNAMCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The Augmentation Project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessarily, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon, in order, a new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon, that city will be a reality, and we its king. It's a lot farther than here. Come on, Kathy. We both know what's going to happen. Couples always break up when they go away to different colleges. If that's what you want. I didn't say that. I'm sure there's a couple girls that'll be glad to hear it. Oh, I'm sure there are. All right, I'll think about it. Hey, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is that? So what's up? How you doing? Fine. And the voice? Since when do you care? Oh, wait a minute, you two know each other. No. Oh yeah. Well, which is it, Kathy? Kathy. Mm-hmm. Cat. Come on, we're wasting his time. Oh no, you're not wasting my time. I'm just cooling. Then you're wasting our time. All right, I get it. Check this, though. If you need me, I'll be right over there. She won't. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, yeah, cat. Words of wisdom. Drop that zero and get with the hero. <laughs> Excuse me? See you later, dick. <laughs> it's Nick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nick. What was that all about? Forget him. I already have. Night time the tsunami is changing, but it's always for the better. Come on! What is this strange energy? It's midnight to get all new DVCs. Now let's just Okay, okay, okay, we in it. Oh, we in it. We in Encopolis. Ah! Well, I mean, that's cool too, but... It was a really nice Meverse post. It was just a little octopus. And he was just saying, hey. He was saying, hey. Hey everybody, welcome to Splatoon. Uh, uh, hashtag Gamergate, hashtag responsibilities, whatever. Game, this game was provided to me uh, by Nintendo. So, I got it for free. And weigh that with how much fun you perceive that I am having. <coughs> Holy shit. Got a weird throat burn. How did you guys even get a no-name game like Stay Close on Funhouse? 
Wait, what? What do you mean? I'm confused by what you're asking. We chose to play it, so we recorded it. And then we uh, edited it, and then we published it because we own the channel. Uh, Steph playing Overwatch. Yes, she is. Oh, does Splatoon have a hub world? Yes. A Genji named Meme Lord. Splatoon has a hub world? Sort of. Not really. They're not They're not other players. They're like the representations of other players. So it's just... Uh, it's a non-moving inkling that has their loadout and uh, a Meverse post. So. Oh shit. Baxter, thank you for the 23... 23 months of resubbing. Probably not going to be able to talk much while I'm, while I'm splatting. You know how it is. Gotta take this shit serious. You don't get uh, number one esports in Splatoon by talking to Twitch chat. You get number one esports Splatoon by being good at Splatoon. Come on. I saw a lot of yelling about a cuck lord. I don't know what that means, though. I mean, I know what it means. You know what it means. Ha! I didn't think that was gonna get him. And then it did. See what I mean? Esports. Yo, we all star now. World, world star Splatoon. Coming at you, bruh. Coming at you. Oh! Look, they're singing for me now. That's what happens when you're you're fucking esports number one, number one ranked NA Splatoon. Oh shit! Woo! That was close. Fuck, there's a dork up there. Ugh. Setting literally everyone but me. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. I hear them guns. Don't attack me when I got the high ground, bruh! Didn't you watch episode 3? No, it's weird. Since, since like, most guns in this game arc, high ground means you have you have more range. Because you actually, like, you, your shots hit further than theirs will shooting up to high ground. So, it's interesting how that all works out. Don't let me do this to you guys. Don't let us do this to you guys. Come on. Come on, this is mean. This is just mean. You're letting us have this. I saw you. I saw you back there. Oh, okay. Oh! Okay. I didn't even know where that dude came from. Sounded like he had armor? I don't know. Damn, those liquids look good. Yeah, and I imagine Twitch compression probably isn't doing it any favors either. It's, uh, it's... It looks as good as it needs to. I think the thing that I thought was pretty cool, rather than, uh... was a Digital Foundry analysis of Splatoon 2. It basically said it does, it does like, migrate uh, resolutions with abandon. It'll change up pretty quick. But, uh, it's, it maintains 60 FPS all the time. Which is fucking great. Ah! Not gonna... Explode with enough time. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh, bless up. Ah. Who was all playing? Um, Tertia the Third, it's just me. I'm playing with the internet. That Splatoon video you guys put out today was great. Have you done those kinds of videos before? Um, similar to them a while ago, yeah. Um, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> I'm, glad I f I'm glad I got it fixed eventually. Oh, since it's just barely any sales until you guys got it, was it just randomly found? Oh, I see what you mean, Glitch King. Um, before you guys played it, it was under 2k sales, now it's 10k. Um, we scout Steam releases. We, re we read through all the new games that come out on Steam, we like... We'll make notes of the ones that we think are interesting, and then I think Elise and I are probably the most active in playing just like 20 to 30 minutes of random games to see if there's any potential there. Um, sorry, there's a, some shit going on my monitor, so scraping it off. Um, yeah, Baxter, this is on Switch. Uh, but in terms of discovery, yeah, we, we kind of take it on ourselves because we kind of logistically know that you can hit YouTube pay dirt sometimes that way. If you're the first video on something that's either a huge smash, or 
at least you you break new ground. Um, you can you can stand to do very well. So, and those are the kinds of videos that can break your video into another tier. Um, so instead of just serving an inc like the same same but maybe incrementally larger larger audience, something that can grow your channel from something that does hundreds of thousands of views into reliably doing millions of views. Shit. All right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attack that. Again, I saw episode three. I ain't going there. I probably could have used my super for that, but whatever. I'll, uh, I'll keep keep spraying. Okay, they traded. Odd. Fuck. Cool. Oh shit. Thank you, Rat Attack. Thank you, Enzymatic. Sorry, I don't have time to really read. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck, fuck, fuck, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah! Shit. Using motion controls? Yeah. I'm using a pro controller with motion controls turned on. Damn, that was a bitch. My team's not good. Alright, Poke Craft. I got you, son. Sorry, there was an interesting question in chat. I'll have to I'll have to save it up. That's the interesting thing about this game. There's not a lot of downtime in matches. I talked about that in the Funhouse video. But also, turnaround time between matches is also pretty slow. So there's not, like, just bevies of time. It's actually a pretty constantly, a constant uptime kind of game. When you get into a match. I had some issues with that. Oh no, son. Do, do, do, do. Now I'm gonna. This is when Trixie Tricks, Trixie Inklings, like to go behind you like that fucker, and start covering the, covering the rink when you're not looking because you're getting too offensive. So I always like to, like the 30 second warning, do a, do a sweep of the map, pick up any easy points. I can be describing my fucking esports platoon shit, man. Did you get your ass killed, dog? Yeah, and it, look at that. There's an ink roller trying to trying to be cute. Fuck you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. Ah, shit. Damn it, that fucking ink roller. He knows what he's doing. Tweet! Talk about how games are becoming more of a service. Do you think games becoming a service is good or bad? Hmm. I think it's a net positive. Um, I think it means there are more games, and for the game you like, there's probably more of it. I do think that also... Maybe... There's a certain kind of game that won't be made anymore. Um, I think single-player narrative-based games are going to be harder to develop, but that doesn't mean they're not being developed, because they still hit. So I think they still earn enough money to be profitable. I just think the biggest companies that want to chase the biggest money are no longer putting their money into single-player-based product. They're putting their money behind evergreen, multiplayer, uh, constant investment products, if that makes any sense. So I, I think that now there is more choice, and the games are better than they've ever been. I think that Games as a Service has kind of come in alongside that and not taken over. Not yet. There was a minute where it was looking rough. Uh, a lot of a lot of publishers were sort of dropping single-player offerings, and it was all it was all like either Call of Duty or Ubisoft-style kind of like open-world crammed with shit experiences. Did we just lose one right before we called the match? Have you ever played a game for the channel expecting it to be bad but end up being pleasantly surprised by it? Sure. So... Hmm... I guess you mean in Let's Play terms. I was, I was kind of thinking of reviews. Uh, or in terms of reviews. Uh, let's see... Let me think. I'm surprised. That has happened. I'm kind of struggling to come up with one right now. I'd, I'd almost have to look through the channel and remind myself, I think. I think there was a time where I was like, man, this... Hmm. Where are you 
at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, okay. All the shit coated. I hear you. Oh, I think that was a teammate. I saw, yeah, there's some more ground back here that hadn't been painted up. A lot of, of random shit. Come on, man. This is how people lose matches. Oh, well. Oh, I saw you. I saw you. I'm gonna get you. You're in a dead end now. Hmm. Still trying to think. Still trying to think. Oh boy, we got him pushed all the way back. Alright, well you boys can handle that. The map looks pretty clear. I just wanted to get a super. The real fuck you is when you use the fucking jetpack to go into their base. Like, in the areas of the map you're not supposed to be allowed to go to. Ugh. Oh, there's another one. No! Bro! Bro, don't make me feel bad. I'm gonna do it anyway, but don't make me feel bad. So, like this, this shit right here. You start getting this ground, this train, and you're not even supposed to be here. That's the real style points. That's the real swag meter. Fuck, he got me! I wasn't even paying attention! I think the entire arena counts, only the floor. I'm pretty sure the walls don't. You get some chump points out of it, so it can be it can be for charging a super, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't think they count. Oh, little squares. I mean, it's it's weird because for this stuff, I don't know the the what's the dividing line between being OCD and to what degree that all those little chunks actually add up. I've had matches where it's like, okay, we definitely killed them a lot more, but they were just more attentive at covering the map. We just had like little snail trails to all the all the main areas. Damn! Yeah. Shit! There was so much condensation on the cup that it almost slipped out of my hand completely. And instead I just splashed bourbon on myself. Delightful. Alright. Mmm! They were down a person. They got fucked. I'm sorry, guys. Alright. Hold on a minute. I gotta... I gotta go towel off. I'll be right back, guys. That's what happens when you're eSports. That's just how it goes. All right, be back in a second. Followed by Outlaw Star Have faith in me, guys. Enjoy the ride. You're in good hands. Tsunami, the midnight run. Tonight at 12. Oh, nothing changed. It's lunch. Universal Century 0079. The One Year War rages on. Space Noids against Earth Dwellers. I'm gonna drive the Xeon forces right off the Earth. Seek against Betty. Ah, not bad for a Betty, but I bet you're not ready for this! Commander! As both sides prepare for the final battle. Run for it! The secret love of two enemies may be mankind's only hope for peace. No better than they are. Gundam 8MS Team. Next. You wanted a fight? Well, here it is! Dig in. <laughs> Only Tsunami. December, Universal Century 0079. Scrim, we're forward defensive line! The One Year War is drawing to a close. We're being attacked by two Gulf Typhoon missiles! The Earth Federation has the upper hand in the neutral colony side six. A Lucian Special Forces are dispatched to destroy the Federation's secret weapon. The Gundam. Zeon's only ally, an 11 year old boy named Alfred Izaruha. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, I'm back. Oh. Almost. almost killed myself. Ugh. So I've never done ranked battle, I've never done splat zones. I'll give that a shot in a bit. 
I guess I can keep keep fucking beasting and turf war. Actually, I'm gonna change up my weapon because I've I, I've put in some time with this this combo. I think I might want to explore. I bought a brush. Actually, I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, there you are. Okay, it's got the same super weapons. Interesting. I like that combo. Um, so there's there's a bomb you can throw and then it like chases after people and then blows up, basically like a proximity grenade. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know what? That's pretty fresh. What's up, Jess? What's up, uh, Lone Arsenal? How are you? This game is so fucking cute. Look at this fat cat. And his little... His little... Not fat cat. <laughs> they're the ones that... The one, they're the ones that judge the matches and stuff. That's where they film the show. Whenever they show, like, the... The map update, you can see people in the background taking photos and stuff. I think if you stare at her, she waves at you. Somebody pointed that out in Splatfest. What are you drinking? Um, bourbon. I don't remember what kind. Oh, Jesus. That's awesome. Cookie cutter. I got some Splatin. Somebody brought a Buffalo Trace. That's a fine drink. Somebody was talking about V-Cards earlier. I'm sorry. I missed I missed what that was all about. Hello, oh, Send Potato. How are you? Where's that hot uh, squid waifu people love? That was Marina. She was in the production studio. On the single worst album I've heard before, it's Philosophy of the World by the Shags. Interesting. Yeah, the Shags are... I don't think I know them very well. Going back to my question, you can answer in term of review or Let's Play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've still been thinking about it. Um, I remember really liking Binary Domain, and I thought that was not going to be any good. Um, Spec Off the Line was a really cool surprise. I remember getting to review that. Blush, blush, blush, blush. This weapon's crazy. Is it coming up? I'm trying to go higher. Oh, I didn't know you could get up there. What the fuck? Thanks for showing me that, buddy. You've done me a great, great favor today. Shoot at me! Okay. Huh. I'm trying to figure out... Oh! Damn! Where'd he come from? Oh! He was up there! Oh! I forgot that it was up there already. Damn. Well, we're controlling mid. Which is a good sign. See? It's so distracting, too. Because you still get to shoot at them while they're trying to deal with that thing chasing after them. It's actually pretty great. Oh, fuck! Fuck! That dude has some serious high ground on us. What? This doesn't count as... Oh shit. Okay. A cheeky little place to hide. Come on. Okay. Fucker. <laughs> it's interesting how like every game has its phases. This is the phase where like people figure out the one thing, and they have their one trick that helps them win most matches. But if you're like a thinking player, you can figure out their trick pretty fast. I just realized that sounded incredibly conceited. Uh -oh. Alright, good enough. Not getting nearly as many points with this weapon, but... It's more about the win than the points or something. It also can do this, it's kind of like a thinner roller. Whatever. I think we got it. Am I using motion controls or analog, analog sticks? Both. Oh, Yeetbot, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. 
Um, what is the benefit of map rotation? I understand that it helps you understand map layout better, but wouldn't a random stage select be better for variety? Yeah, Toucan. Yes. That's how Overwatch does it. I, um... All I can say is that I don't... It doesn't bother me. Oh, I guess it's a... You. In a way, what? it's... I guess it's sort of cheap, or a cheap way for the game to seem like it's new more often than it is. So when you when you log in and on a weekly basis you're like, hey, here are these new maps. It's not necessarily new, but it creates the illusion of it being new. Hey, if you were playing, who's fixing the audio issues in today's vid? I already did that. Good boy. They are fixed, which is why I'm playing now. So there you go. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Yeah, it's Overwatch. Stephanie is playing Overwatch. Which controls are quite a lot of tweaking sensitivity to find a good spot between the use of stick and motion. Let's go to, yeah, same same here. I didn't actually tweak the controls too much. I just sort of told myself it was something I had to get good at. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's kind of how I treated it. So I kind of learned on default. I don't know that that move is good for anything. Some weapons have that. They have like a... Like the brush and the roar have have that kind of mode where it can just do a solid a solid bit. But I truly don't think that's more that covers more ground more quickly than just using this fire. Maybe it's less precise, but Yeah. Like what niche what niche does that fill? Oh boy. Took out two of them. Fucker! Oh, I didn't I didn't see him back there. I might use less ink. That's what I thought, but it doesn't seem to. But maybe I'm wrong. Despite being uh, Splatoon Esports, I I don't know, you know, a lot of the nitty-gritty about the game. Shit. Oh, is it two on one? Why am I getting hit like this? Uh, were there two? Or was it just that guy? He seemed to have a lot more paint. Ink. Whatever. Oh, there's a new... My hero. God damn. Oh, he dropped. I thought he was still up there. They're, they're getting pretty good at, like, ganging up on people. Oh boy. Yeah, we're in trouble. Holy fuck, you guys are terrible. Fuck. Fuck, he's gonna get me. In every situation, I'm fighting two or three people. I'm wondering why that is. Oh, my team's getting killed in their spawn. Cool. They're doing it to us now. Fuck off! I had to kill two of them! Do something! Bah! My esports couldn't save it. Thanks, K80. Thanks for the resub. Jesus Christ. Um, MB Walrus. I, I play 14. I think it's worth the money. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, okay. That's just what that... That's just what that gear does. Yeah, Enzo, Enzomatic, that happens. That happens. We can confirm the little kitten is in fact the bigger cat's son or some shit? I don't know what the relation between them is. What the... Whether they are friends or... 
That is a great post, cookie cutter. Imagine going through months of pregnancy only to have a child who doesn't ink the stupid splat zones. It's funny because being a shooter that's about more than just kill, you know, kill the other team as fast as you can. It has the same, like, get on the fucking cart problems as Overwatch. There are people who just don't play it, or play the, play to the win condition. They just run around and do whatever. Damn it, I didn't see him. Wow, that was weird. Yeah. Huh. Okay, it's not finding anybody. seems to shoot off, like, three main clumps. That's what it looks like. Oh, boy. Where did he go? What the fuck? Hmm. Guess I just didn't visually track him. It's weird because you can like, somebody will go in, uh, squid to hide, and then you can sort of use the position of the ink to guess where they're gonna go. I like that game of cat and mouse. God, shit, shit, fuck! Yeah, I didn't think I was getting away from that one. Found a weapon preference in this game yet? Been using the roller? Um, hmm. I don't know that I have a, a strict one. I just really like the, like, variants of the main gun. It's, like, accurate. Um, some of them will, like, spray out a little where you're standing, which helps cover. Uh... I like the super a lot, the jetpack one. Whew. The brush must at least fill some sort of niche because it wasn't it didn't launch but the game was free was it a free update at launch. People were mad about that. What, that they lost a day with it? That's how this game works. They're, even if something's in the, in the game, they're going to roll it out slowly. That's always how it's been. What's up, zombie? Yeah, as far as the... Uh, as far as I can tell, the... Um, the niche for the brush, it's like it's a hybrid weapon. So it's not, it's not as, like, balls-out uh, support as, uh, as the roller. Or just ex as extreme close range. I don't know, it's weird. I, I kind of think about it in terms of, can the gun kill people at near or close range? And does the... what shape... What shape does it throw ink, and how quickly? You fucking dick smoke. Yeah, good. So it's like... In the ways that guns can either cover a fan of area, or shoot in a straight line, or cover like... A semicircle. Um... I think that has an effect on which maps they're effective at inking. So, like, the brush covers a wide area, but it's fairly unpredictable. Which means it's pretty good to go into, like, open spaces. Whereas the hero charger, the roller, good at covering hallways, things like that. Fuck. Yeah, you got me. That was smart. It seems like a lot of people are using those Splattershot Juniors. You better stay alive. I'm gonna... Nope, he didn't. And I'm gonna die as soon as I land. Yep. Fuck R. God, all you had to do was stay alive. 
We're gonna get fucked. We are gonna get fucked. The salt in the background is epic. Uh, Stephanie is a salty player. So am I. I get it. So yeah, it feels like that uses way too much ink. God damn it. Fuck off, man. Ugh. It's gonna be one of those matches where I have to fucking kill everybody. <sighs> Maybe one of them. Fuck! Ugh. Ugh. Hmm? And you have to watch me and mute because you restream stuff? Wait, what does that mean? What are you restreaming? Oh, like a marathon or something? Yeah, I heard that. Where'd that come from? Do I have to kill? Uh, I thought that was stupid. I didn't. I should have known better than to think I could kill everybody just by spamming. Stop getting killed! Oh my god. Seems no good. Yeah, the ESA marathon. I was. I've been watching that all weekend. As much as I love GDQ, it is kind of nice to see a marathon that's a little, a little more adult. Maybe not in, not in all aspects, but certainly in its uh. They're not afraid to be more internet. Man, my team was just falling down for them. God. No, Linky, something was not weird for you at the audio. I definitely... That was a problem with it. I had to re... I re uploaded it. So it's fixed now. God. 10 and 13. <laughs> Guys. Good. Thing is, I didn't have a... Uh, I didn't have a killing gun. So there's like, there's times where you have to rely on your team to maybe not cover, but at least shoot. Like, shoot occasionally. Holy oh shit, rat attack, that looks amazing. <laughs> so they have to re- they have to shoot sometimes. Alright, that was pretty funny. There we go. I found it eventually. Huh, <sighs> <sighs> I'm- I try to use this, but it's tough, man. I'm with Bucket. Oh, that's not a... All it does is lower respawn. Why do I need respawn if I never die? Nice. Thank you, Resonator. Meaver's posts are pretty fucking great. You gonna play with your peeps? Probably not. It's kind of a never ending, uh, long standing policy of mine to uh, reinforce healthy levels of separation. Fuck the hot dog meme? Why? Why do you, why do you like, why do you dislike that hot dog? All he's doing is dancing. Who doesn't, who doesn't like dancing hot dogs? Thank you, Jess. The hot dog meme is beautiful. Yeah, it's just having a good time. Why well, you gotta hate on somebody just, just dancing it out? I don't like the hot dog. Man. I had no idea hot dog was such a controversial topic. I would have assumed that everybody would be in support of hot dog. It's a wild game out there. When you're, when you're scrambling for memes. I think his name Unchanted. Like uncharted. I tend to play this class much more like artillery. 
always like just sloshing in the background trying to farm up splat missiles so I can whatever they're fucking called man splatoon shit but it's fun to kind of use those missiles not really to kill people but to just throw a lot of annoying ink at the enemy base Oh, I got one. Whoa! Oh, shit. Woo! Almost got got. I don't understand how, like, I can be killing motherfuckers like crazy and we still have to retreat. Ta -ta -ta -ta -ta -ta -ta -ta -ta -ta Fuck! Damn it! Asshole. <sighs> Didn't expect him to go in on me like that. Usually people get intimidated. I see that you are a warrior. I'm not gonna say you're esports Splatoon, but you might be. Someday. Good. I like it when I see my team getting any doing anything. It's always a rewarding prospect. Yep. Fuck. He's out. I saw that. Fuck! Fuck! I'm so stupid that he went down the ramp! I hate that ball. That, se that ball seems too good. Because it explodes at the end, too. I haven't I haven't unlocked it yet, but... Look, he got that guy. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Ugh! I didn't know they were back there. God damn it. That's really frustrating. I should have done better. I'm gonna get killed when I land. Yep, I knew it. You don't you don't get to do that. Thanks, Cookie Stealer. <laughs> Man, I fucked that up. There were a couple of stupid mistakes I made. It wasn't as it wasn't as one sided as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Eh. Could have been better. Got that level though. I feel like Bad Guy Cat is cuter. Bad Guy Cat is pretty cute. Honestly, don't have a clue how to play this game well. The only gun that I can see to do well is the Arrows Pre MG. It's fine. Who cares? Who cares? Use whatever you want. You lost to a bunch of 12 year olds. You don't know that. Let me tell you this, no matter how edgy, adult, and too cool for school you think your stupid game is, you lose to 12 year olds all the time. Only Switch games I have are Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart. I don't have any other recommendations. Depends what you like, Maddie. Um, try the rhythm game? Yeah, it's interesting. It's a cute little 16. Damn. About the game, you get to use the weapons you want to use. Oh, is this the uh, is this frustration with like the the deployment of weapons? Somebody was saying that people were super mad about the paintbrush only being unlocked. People are gonna have to get over the idea that they know what they're. And this is gonna sound weird. That's a weird point to make, but it's being proven more and more true. When you buy a game now, you can't make any presumptions about, like, the amount of content you're going to get or in what way it's going to be given to you. Or 
or rather, I think I think he I think the notion that you pay money for a chunk of stuff is gone. I remember Capcom getting into hot water about it when they had like on disc DLC. Well, sure. It doesn't matter if it was on disc or not, it was still DLC. And they decided that that's what they were going to charge 60 bucks for. So... As near as I can figure it out, people were the most offended that Capcom could have given them more stuff, but chose not to. Um... Sorry, bruh. I tried. I tried to save you, my bruh. Tried to save you, bruh. Tried to ink you, bruh. Damn. I couldn't get two. Kill him. Are you kidding me? He's gonna kill everybody. Are you serious? Guys. At least I didn't know he was there. You saw him coming and still let him kill you. Yeah. Fuck you! Where's my team? God! Why do I have to do this? You guys better be doing shit. Okay, good. They are doing shit, actually. I'll allow it. They could be doing more shit, though. There's no reason to clump up like that. Fuck, I lost my super. There we go. Now we're splatting. Woof, I think we got it. I think we got it. Ah. Coordinating with teammates is important in Splatoon. Not necessarily. I don't think you have to coordinate so much as just be aware. Are you listening to the game in your headphones or some badass music? No, it's the game. I'm not I'm not sick of the game's music or sound effects yet. Hello, honky Satchmo. Oh! Well, that's a Twitch Prime sub. Alright then. Hold on a minute. I've got just the track. here. Well, let me let me load up my beats. You know, it takes a while to get them all into RAM. There's a lot of beats going on there. Mm -hmm. oh, Capcom makes an actual Dead Rising sequel that doesn't suck. Yeah, I didn't get super into 4. I like 3 a lot. I thought that was a good, good one. Okay, Hunky Satchmo. Boy, what a great name. Appreciate the free cash. Hope you appreciate this jam. Papers. I like how, man, I would fucking, if I could go to a place, if like I could go to a party place that had that on the wall, that like blinking arrow design, and also listen to music like that, damn, damn, son. it's hot and nasty, thank you, don't thank me, I didn't make it, I just listened to it, decided I liked it, I think I'm gonna go back to the gun, I think I'm gonna go back to the gun, go back to my, my esports sidearm, do you guys ever feel? I mean, wait. This is a hey. This is a gamer question for gamer, gamers only. This is a gamer chat. Gamer chat. Uh, activate. Do you guys ever in a video game find? Okay, this is something I do a lot, and it's not a problem in single player games. It is a problem in multiplayer games. You find something that you're good at, something that makes sense. But I am like, I can't just use the one thing. I have to know all things. So even if I find a gun that I can use pretty well, I still tell myself to switch because I tell myself that getting good at all the guns is better than just getting really good at one of the guns. 
And I'll do that a lot intentionally in single player games, just to kind of see all the content that's there. But I don't know, something for me feels cheap if I do the same thing every time and win because of it. I never do that. Um, so even if I find a, like a loadout that works really well for me, I'll stop using it on purpose because I feel like at some point it's going to bite me in the ass. I don't know. That's just curious. I use the stuff I'm worst with so I can do whatever, but the first part never works. <laughs> I was like that with Doom. Okay. And yeah, Overwatch, right? Um, every time I'd feel myself getting good at a character, I would switch. Because I'd just be like, well, I gotta get good at all the other ones. Where, well, there, there is some, uh, some virtue in doing that. I think it's more like, uh, oh, it's fun. that was my original grip. I'm only with one gun and don't know how to do anything else. Well, they never force you to do anything else, so that's something. Oh, it's a that's a different one. Okay. Splashdown. Yeah. Different splat duelies. Curling bombs. Interesting. I actually don't mind that. That's kind of interesting. Shit, that's expensive. Splatter shot pro. Oh yeah. No, I'm going to try this. So this is like a really long-range rifle and the sub is called a point sensor. I don't know what the fuck that is. And the special I don't know, the the ink storm thing doesn't seem too useful to me. It's like, it's like there to slow down the enemy team, it's there to... I could see it being much more useful in, uh, in splat zones, but whatever. Uh, I can agree with that, because you don't want to get bored with yourself. It makes the game more fun for longer by changing it up. Yeah, but if, like, if, if I'm playing a multiplayer game, why would I do that, right? Why wouldn't I just get as good as I can with one thing, so I can win more? That's the whole point, right? I guess even even if it is a multiplayer game, you're allowed to play it how how is fun for you. But then it's like, I mean, if I'm on a team and I want to win, I'd be annoyed if anyone else was just goofing around. I think that it's good to be able to use a variety of weapons, but it's also good to pick a character you're good at and stick with it when you're wanting to play seriously. Oh, so both. I want to try out that umbrella gun. The umbrella is umbrella is fucking weird. Okay. That's what it means by long range. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna need some more fine aim. Use this gun properly. Also seems like I'm gonna be like I need I need to get to that overwatch point. I think that's gonna be where my where my home is. Can I hit that? I can. That's pretty cool. Lucky there. All right. Okay, so that, huh? Interesting. Fuck, man. This gun uses ammo slash ink very quickly. That range, though. Interesting. Seems like it's really good at winning, like, duels and stuff. Just being a real fucking pest if you get into a, a defensible spot, which is what I am intending to do. Okay, my speakers. So yeah, I don't, I don't have any fucking dope strats to... Oh! Ow! This is an interesting weapon. Oh, dude! All right, I'm I'm I'm feeling this. Can't quite get him. With marks still. Where you at? Where you at? Oh! I didn't know he could get up there. Please kill him. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, bruv. I 
Take that, Jerry. God damn it, Jerry. Man, it does it does burn through ink though. I like that gun. I mean, it, it's like a very tactical kind of gun. You have to get in a good spot. Okay. Yeah, it's man. That is a very long range kind of loadout. Oh, we esports again. We're doing it. Unlocking those perks. Got my Salmon Run shirt on. I don't even know, like... How... How does it scale? So if a, if a shirt has, like, sub-weapon up, but my sub-weapon is, like, a... Fucking... Sonar bomb that tells me where enemies are. How does that scale up? Does the radius get bigger? On the orb of detection? Uh, I'm selling you on a Switch. That's the thing, though. Even if I did, you can't find one. I've been trying to get another one for Steph, because... She's on a damn mission to tr trounce my Tetris score. Which I am fully supportive of. Match is really quick. Yeah, no, that's what makes it... Like, that's what makes you want to feed a match right into the next one. Three minutes is about enough time to just get fucking... Amped. And then it's like... You win or lose, and you're like, rah! And you want to go right into the next one. And the downtime is actually pretty short. If no one leaves... You're back in a match in like 15 seconds. It's great. Thank you, hold that ghost. Appreciate the resub. Appreciate that. I feel like we missed, uh, go down the border and there were plenty. Oh, in Mexico? Interesting. There's gotta be, there's gotta be like fucking resellers who drive down, get a van load, and drive them back, right? Or are there protections to prevent against that? Import it from Amazon. I guess it's not region locked, huh? I didn't think about that. With the currency exchange, how does it how does it work out? What's up, C Robin? Thank you. Big honk. Good name. All right, now this is gonna be interesting because to my knowledge, this game doesn't quite have a gigantic sniper nest. I guess this can be my role. I hang around the base and ink up everything. Ugh. They're in danger already? I guess that's good. Alright. Oh, I don't know how I lived through that. I should have been dead 18 times over. It was exactly the situation I should never be in. Remind me, I gotta find a higher high spot to, to fucking post up. I guess up here is good. Man. That is, like, motion control is actually pretty solid. It does allow me to make those fine fine tunes. I hate I have such such a legacy in, in console shooters of emptying my clip like a little bit away from who I'm actually shooting at because my aim is just hot shit. It's garbage. With uh with the controller, it always has been. Oh boy, that was stupid. By the way, in case you guys aren't super in inter intricate with the mechanics here, you uh you go through grates when you're in squid form. So it's kind of a mechanic to make sure there are parts of the map you can't swim through. Oh, I got him already. Delightful. Oh, come on. I'll give him all this. Fuck. Yeah, I don't really know how much truly if you use 
Ink Storm as a, as a ground covery method. Oh, that guy doesn't know what he's doing. Then I don't know how effective it is at that. It seems to be okay. Fuck, man. Whew! Switch is 500 US dollar in retail, 400 in Amazon. That's why I have a broken Vita, a 3DS, and a PS3. Aw, oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Some regions absolutely get fucked when it comes to video games. Australia. Sounds like Mexico. Man, Big Honk. Love that name. Alright, well, it's the top of the hour. According to YouTube, or sorry, Nintendo's FTC guidelines, I need to again disclose that I've received this copy of the game for free. Don't let, don't let that sound overtly snide. I'm actually 100% okay with it. I just think maybe audience may not understand why I'm saying it when I'm saying it. Why don't you go to subreddit other than Funhouse? Um, I don't really have one aside from that. Where did the soda go? It's pretty good. Why do they make you do that? So they don't get sued? So... Excuse me, so the PR agency that represents Nintendo doesn't get sued. It's okay. I don't mind it. There's just been some dust-ups about people not disclosing sponsorships and promotions on YouTube, so... Nintendo is buttoned up as they are. Or I think maybe Nintendo's PR company, understanding that Nintendo is buttoned up, as buttoned up as they are, would rather err on the side of caution. So you... Maybe this is maybe this is a, a peek behind the scenes, but basically you agree to certain terms and services when you uh, accept review copies, embargoes, coverage guidelines, things of that nature. Nothing that really dictates tone, by the way. So it's not like you can't talk badly about this. It's more like here's what we would like you to show, um, and it's typically like single player stuff. They don't want you to spoil stuff. Um, but part of that, lately, has been disclosure guidelines. So, you must say these things in this way, in, uh, at these occurrences. I'm baiting them in. I don't think it's gonna work. Fuck, fuck. Woo! Sometimes you can kind of shoot in front of somebody and know that you're getting their attention, and then they'll, like, chase you. Fuck! Fuck! Way was he behind us! Man. Sometimes. Sometimes you rely on your team. Your team just dicks you. You're gonna get killed. I knew it. I lost my super because of you. I'm happy about that. I should've just thrown it as soon as I could have. Fuck. Fuck! Yeah, using using the ink storm on enemy ground does appear to actually. Why didn't I kill him? Earn you quite a few points, guys. We need to we need to go. We're almost out of time. We just took out two of them, so we gotta be good for now. Shit. Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get dick wienered. Almost got another. Okay. Try my damn best here, killing every every son of bitch I see. Damn it! If you, will you get mad if I say control? If I control C, your chat rules? No. Do you feel the need to do it though? Ugh, mild tortoise, yeah. Nug's been, uh... Nug's been sitting in the back seat for a while. He's getting his life together, though. I like this gun. Um, do you guys get a lot of review copies? If so, why don't we get a lot of in-review videos? Um, we don't. 
I asked specifically for Splatoon because um, I had I had sort of decided myself that I wasn't gonna make any more of them because they don't do that well. Hmm. I'm trying the Destiny Beta Cubs. Cool. I got in, but I haven't, or rather, I downloaded it, but I haven't played it. I don't know. I feel like if it's good, great. I kind of know what it is, so I don't need to play a beta for it. Um, but yeah, oh sorry. So, they didn't do that well. I was like, okay, well, maybe we'll just walk away from that idea. But, some people would ask about it. I think it was like at a convention or something. So I was like, why didn't you make those anymore? And I was like, well, they just didn't do that well. And Bruce was like, doesn't matter. Or, he didn't say it doesn't matter. He said they do well enough, I think was, was his answer. Uh, and to the, they kind of do. I'd say they like 250 maybe. Uh, they don't do as well as like a good gameplay though. So, I had sort of personally decided I wasn't going to really pursue that anymore. But it's been a while. I guess I got nostalgic. Nostalgic for, uh... Oh, that's cool. Using your super also reloads you. That's good to know. Shit, shit, shit, shit, shit. Fuck! Ah! That locator was really cool, though. I, I, I was frustrated because I should have been able to track him and shoot him, but I, uh, I botched my aim, dropped it. Anyway, no, we don't get a lot of review codes. Uh, I also don't ask for many, for the aforementioned reason. So, god damn it! I should have known. I feel, oh man, some of that shit I feel so stupid. I don't know why I turned my back to the team spawn. I was just dumb. I was a dumb thing. God damn it. Well, I guess we traded. Except my bro got taken out. Fuck. No, no! I couldn't get the clearance to use my super! Damn it! <sighs> Damn. Uh, I was gonna be able to throw it. That was gonna be great. There. Yeah. Where'd he go? Shouldn't have dropped down here. Fuck! I knew I shouldn't have dropped down! <sighs> I didn't know. I didn't know that was the edge. I didn't mean to fall off. I was like, I'm just gonna hide up here, use my distance, and shoot him. I fell off like an idiot. Damn. Bleh. Feels so stupid. I made so many dumb mistakes. How much I have to... Uh, how much art do I have to make to get you and at least have an indie game show? Or stream? Uh, who knows. That would. I think that would require a certain, like, opening up of our content production. Bah. How's the how's the music been so far? It's great. I enjoyed a lot. Um, nothing that quite blows me away. Like uh, there were some very memorable tracks from the first game. No, oh, there's some some pretty comparable ones. Uh, no, it's good. I'm certainly not tired of it. Uh, Orange Lao, what's the deal with those zero P teammates? Those are people that drop out. Um, connection disruptions or what have you. Good evening, Lucky Senpai. Uh, like he says, I played over 200 of the first two months of Destiny and was out. Then never picked it back up again and sold my console. Woo! Okay. The, uh, the magic, the magic wore off pretty quick. Daryl's, do I still play 14? I do. Yes. This game triggers my OCD. I have to go for the night. Good luck. Oh. Okay, Fierce. Can't tell if that's a joke or not, but either way. Sleep well. Where's 
is not even shooting. Oh boy. I might have an easy time with this. Wow. Did you just get an entire lobby of new players? God damn. I got a I think my my one of the larger failings I have right now is that I need to play more defensively when I know I have a super. There's no reason to uh be so aggressive and then lose it. Fuck. Bradsby. Hello, hello. Whoa. Woo. I mean, we're there for a second. find the aiming easier with motion controls. I do. It's actually it's actually really good. I finally got there. I got to where they're good and actually help. They make the game better. Ha! Ouch. Considering buying Splatoon, do you think it's worth it? Um I I would never say yes for a game for everybody in the world. So Feliax, um depends it depends how much how much you like the base game. Um, hopefully you got to play the Splatfest or the Test Fire or something. Really, I mean, playing yourself is honestly the best way. But I, I think it's I think it fills a great niche for the the Switch. Are you using motion controls like or like the more traditional attachment? Um, I'm using the Pro Controller, so but motion controls are on. So essentially, I, tur I steer left and or I look left and right, left and right with the right stick. And then I aim up and down, and then do left and right with motion control to sort of zero in on people. Are there other modes to this game? Yes. Uh, here, I'll, after this match, I'll play the other one. It'll be the first time. I've never played that other one before. This game should be called Splooge Tune. Well, there's never a color that's white. So in that regard... I think they've got some of their bases covered. Yeah, essentially, it, it's another Splatoon esports strat. You can essentially, like, see somebody in your territory and then cut them off by just drawing a line across across their plat- their, like, ink. So they don't have- they don't have a retreat, or they have to, uh, fuck. 
Ooh, I don't understand how I lived through that, but whatever. Um, essentially, you make it so they can't get away. So you can start penning them in. As long as you have constant fire or the ink to constantly fire, you can basically uh, trap them. It's pretty great. It's part of the like strategy of movement. Where's my ink storm? Oh, I didn't. I didn't ever throw it. Okay. Glad I got it off. I guess. I, oh yeah, that's right. I must have just. Whoop. Saw that. Come on, did you think this was not esports? Why are you just sitting there, bro? Took a hit off a bong and now you're contemplating the universe? You wanna be stoned, go to Starbucks. What the fuck? Oh. God. Not all the time, but sometimes. Ugh. Not all the time, but sometimes. The game... Like, I'm playing it on Wi-Fi right now. And sometimes it's pretty obvious I'm playing on Wi-Fi. Sometimes. Gotta get out of here. This is not a, good, not a safe place to be. Hope that storm gets out in time to get us some points before the end of the match. Looks like it's doing its work. Ah. If there's one game you think you could enter, want to play competitively, what would it be? I don't know that I. That's such a complicated question. I think for the fun of it, StarCraft 2, probably. Any speedruns, no death runs, and esports. Yeah. This is it, man. This is this is the Camer Central. This is where it's where it's all this is where all the magic happens. You guys, all all future accomplishments in any video game will be made right here. That is my promise to you. But my first promise is I'm gonna use the bathroom, so I'll be back in a little bit. See you guys then. Caught between loyalties, Al must make the ultimate choice. The stakes, life and death. We're not playing games here, you know. Price of failure. This colony's going to be destroyed, alright? Nuclear Annihilation. Gundam 0080. A midnight run exclusive. Premiering Monday, November 5th at 1230. In war, everyone's a casualty. Only to Bobby.
Rank battle. Let's try this out. Never done this before. This truly is esports. I uh, hit rank 10 like uh, a day or two ago. I think it was Friday or Thursday night, yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, at the time I couldn't match with anybody because no one was high enough level. Oh my god. Rad, that's so beautiful. Flat zones. Oh, it's the same maps, though. Oh, I'll throw that on stream in a second. That's amazing, Rat. Right? Thank you. Uh. Oh, so just like it appoints a zone on the map and you have to control it? Is that the idea? No? No? That's not how it seems to be working. Back into a corner. I don't like that. Uh huh. Fuck! My entire team died. Cool. They're all gonna run in and die one at a time. I know it. I know it. That's how Overwatch works. That's how it's gonna work here. Same motherfuckers. Being bad at the same game in the same way. Shit! I can't hit anybody. All right. Let's see if. See if this is the super weapon I think it's gonna be. Shit. Shit! Man. How's Splatoon 2 so far? I enjoy it a lot. That should not have killed me. I feel so dumb about that. Ah! The fucker! Mother! Mmm! Okay. getting killed. Yep. Yeah, they have- they got, like, tricks, right? The whole, like, stay on the high ground with a roller. Oh, fuck you. Ah. He's gonna wipe everybody. Because no one turned around. Hmm. Tartan, welcome back. Um, what's my favorite song? Like, of all time? Um... Classical Gas. I think that one... Or like... Shit. Classical Gas or like Battle of Evermore. Some... Some fucking... Led Zeppelin jam. Fuck you. Can't hit him. Fuck. God damn it. How do you have range on me, dude? He's using my gun, I think. They got it, yeah. Huh. <sighs> God damn. Fucking knocked out. Uh. I am. I am in a. Hold on. I am in a. Is awesome? Have you seen any of the Netflix Castlevania? Yes, I have. I watched it. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a lot better than I thought it. I was expecting it to be or thought it. Even had a right to be? He has the high ground? Yeah. Well, it's more like he was hitting me and I wasn't hitting him. And I thought I had a really long-range weapon. So, that's what drove me to the conclusion he must be using the same weapon as me. If he can hit me and I can't hit him, one of those things. So it's like, fuck. I, Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get up there. And then I would have a great vantage point to shoot. Um, They got there first. Oh, this is interesting, though. There's nothing but high ground going into this. Uh, yeah, but I agree, it's like, for me, it's, it was way too short. It felt like the prologue to a season, and that may have been how it was produced. We're gonna make this with this tone, and, uh, see if people like it.
Oh boy. Fuck! Good. Oh my god. Not for a second. I'll, just, I'll stay in the top again. This is interesting. Two points to cover. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Trying here. Okay. Just run that clock as long as we can. Good job, boys. The fighting boys, the fighting inklings. Make me proud. Soon, though. Yeah. Oh, Damn, I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that the storm would just kill you. Huh. Oh, God damn it, he came from behind, and now everybody's gonna die. Don't do this. my ink storm. Ugh. The worst feeling. Fuck. This is when they needed me to shoot. I wasn't there to shoot. I keep forgetting that re- that. Ugh. Alright. I like that guy. He came specifically after me. What causes the plus numbers below the counter? Um, oh, uh, I think that's just an indication of, in a given point of control, how many points they gained or lost. Or just gained, basically. Will any RTX Funhouse vlogs go up? I don't think so. We don't do those. Oh, thank you, Kai Wales. What's funny is people hated that. The, um... They hated that, like, shtick in the live stream of that. I was like, okay, we'll see. We'll see how it edits down. This map looks cool. There's some cool ones. There's some more vertical maps. That's neat. It's basically a bunch of, like, snapback ranks that go down in the center. The ranks are grades? Yeah. It hurts, right? Yeah, apparently you work your way up out of C minus, and it like the progression system kind of interesting. Once you cross a certain threshold, your rank is protected, like you won't go down, but you have to fill the meter up before it breaks, which is a really a really interesting like way to add tension and gamification to r ranking system. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Yeah, I would love to be in that world. Okay, I gotta get to this point faster this time. Uh, I fucked it, man. Fuck. Fuck! Man! 
I didn't think that that gun could reach up there. Oh boy, I hope they stay alive. I'm gonna come in and die, aren't I? Oh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> All you had to do was stay alive. Damn it. Oh, I fucked it again. This map seems tough. Once you... Once you have the high ground in the middle, fuck it, what do you do? God damn it. How the f... How did she not die? Some of that stuff is weird. I think in the past when I like hit somebody twice and they've died, they must have must have taken damage first. That is all I can figure. Ugh, just always barely out of range. Cool. out right now. Getting clenched. God damn. Okay. He's gonna wipe everybody. Oh, are you serious right now? Why did that take so many hits? Fuck. Fuck! That was a good shot. I think sometimes it's a little overtyping for you guys, and that goes with both the characters you're playing and even the editing, and this is not in any way to discredit you guys, the editors could love you all, just I personally feel about it. Yeah, no, it's... It was a joke. Um, certainly a... Fuck! Ugh, you guys. I don't know how to read those matches. Sometimes. Like, I have no idea who's not doing what. And is there any, like, order to how they were listed there? Because it's all or nothing, so I don't know. So I don't know how... I think I'm going to play... I'm not going to play for too much longer, guys. Sorry. St stream started super late because of all the work stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I think this is going to be my last match. I'm sorry that it's so... Sorry that it's so short. Are you doing badly playing lag? No, there's something else going on. Maybe. Maybe they're wearing, like, gear that lets them take more hits or something. We'll see how it goes. God damn it! I took out two! Ah, uh, no. They're gonna mop up now. They're gonna get the point. They're gonna keep the point. And we're gonna be little dickbags doing nothing. Again! Shit. Okay. God damn it. Fuck, fuck. What? Man. 
There is an ink resistance gear ability that lets you take more hits, so that's certainly possible, just more resistance, resistance to your shots. It's possible, right? That's the thing, I'm trying to figure figure out that X Factor. Oi! God damn it. Ugh! Something, stuff like that shouldn't be trades. I already got two hits on them. I don't know. You comment on, on Funhouse's Fun channel growth? Channel growth is hard. Um, the way people grow now is they, they invite a scandal. That is the technique. H3H3 H3 does it on a nearly monthly basis. So it's like... You can... As near as I can as near as I can see, you you can grow organically by making good content to a point. Fuck! But human nature being what it is, people won't watch your content for long unless you do a little more, something a little more gross. You have to like Fuck. Fuck! Me! Why can't you just not die for a little bit? All you have to do is not die. And you're not doing that. So we, uh, we would need something that sort of, once once you're kind of at a certain tier of YouTube, you need something else to propel you forward, and it's typically something in the order of like a, it's like an event that propels you into a new level of the game. Fucking shit. And yeah, the most common way is to pick a fight with somebody else to make you, like, to to be sued. It's free for business. So yeah, I mean, we are growing organically. We're getting, you know, a thousand here, a thousand there. That's kind of the limit of what happens when you're just relying on search. Search and word of mouth. The other big tool that Theoretically, we could exploit. Ah! Is, uh. Collaborations. Collaborations are like the valid way to, uh. This is a pretty close match. Fucking goddamn. Everybody takes, everybody takes so many hits to get exposed to a new audience. Fucking shit! God! What was my teammate doing? So, sometimes I'm like, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm distracting him. He's looking at me. He's shooting at me. What are you doing? Fuck! Don't let him do that. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting too heated. I'm getting salty. Oh my god! He wiped our team. He wiped our team because no one could hit him. No one could fucking shoot him. I guess I'm one of those people, but it's weird. Like I saw him first. Fuck off. Bleh. Yeah, but no, we didn't play Overwatch with Anne. Um, played a terrible game I found on Steam, and then she tried to coach us at Rainbow Six. If I ever get famous, you bet your ass will promote your shit. Thank you for that. Appreciate, appreciate you holding it down. 21 kills, that one guy. See how it's starting to crack? Bleh. I'm gonna try to do another one. Can't, can't go out on a bitch loss like that. No. Trademark the way gameplay. I like the way that Wrist Teeth trademark Let's Play. God damn it. God damn it. Oh. Did you guys get in a fight with Metallica? No. That'd be nice. Yeah. So here's the problem Broken broken Tea and Kai Huevos. Uh, Finos vs. PewDiePie, Finos vs. Vsauce. Vsauce might work. But it's like. You have to pick a target that's big and can't speak for itself, or is bad at speaking speaking in YouTube terms. Typically a corporation. Someone that can't fight back. Typically you like one of the one of the old games was to bait out copyright claims. And then once oh, I'm not playing Turf War. Once there was a claim on anything, you're like, they're trying to censor me. How dare they? Sadly so many people have done that. Like, maybe, like, you need- guys, you have to- we have to protect free speech here. Okay? We have to protect freedom of expression. That's why I should be allowed to use full clips from Star Wars. 
in my videos, my creative creations. Uh, that was, that's like game number one. That got, that got kind of worn out. Game number two is just like, fucking, oh, it's, it's this mode now. Oh, I remember this one. Basically, uh, fuck. Yeah! Interesting, okay. I was, I was curious to play this kind of map. Now you just, like, pick a new target, like, Jake Paul or whatever. Everybody, everybody's scoring off him. How the fuck Man, this, this mode is quite a bit more chaotic. How can I hit that? Oh, God. How did we lose the tower? Oh, somebody has to be on it, I think. Fuck! God, so you just you're just expected to die. So yeah, with this one you have to push the tower to certain checkpoints and then you have to hold them at certain checkpoints for a while. Using a GameCube controller is much easier with motion controls. Huh? No, I'm using the uh, Pro Controller. There we go. I think we got it. <sighs> we made one of those lewds beach bubble designs. Oh, do you mean a Meverse post? No, I haven't. Nah. Would it be better to paint the areas that are least contested? Cayuevos, that was not turf war. So that was just trying to push the push the block to the end of the track. All right, level up and everything. Boom! Even unlocked a thingy from a t-shirt. Yeah, Crystal Mech, I was confused by that too. I'm not sure that you can use GameCube controllers. GC? Eh. I uh, didn't realize there was a whole YouTube metagame. I don't know that it's necessarily a metagame, but that is... So YouTube YouTube has these, like, layers to it. One, everybody's screaming for attention all the time. It's just, it's a howling echo chamber of people desperate to be YouTube famous. And then two... There are people competing with each other to yell in certain ways. If that makes sense. So some people, you know, like, Amazing Atheist will go get banned at a restaurant, and he'll make a shitty video about that. Um, so some people, some people aggressively burn their dignity as hard as they can on camera. That's one way of screaming for attention. Another way is seeming to point out some injustice, you know, being, being a, a captain of virtue. Telling a narrative about your life as a YouTube producer, and that narrative can be fake. So it's like, guys, I had cancer three months ago, and then I've been a Star Wars fan for years. I grew up with Star Wars. I've got a Star Wars tattoo. Uh, you see, it's right over the cancer there. That's that's that's me. And all I wanted to do was make a cool Star Wars remix video. And could you believe Lucas claimed it? Disney claimed it. I grew up with this. This was mine. This was ours. It's always ours, right? And I got cancer, and I'm dying. So it's like, you might get a lot of subs based off that. And that might drive attention to your Star Wars Remix video. But you needed the narrative behind it. The Star Wars video itself wasn't enough to get you there. And it never would be. Because there's already people operating at that level and screaming in that way. So, we don't necessarily do that. We kind of, we don't on purpose. And for anyone else that gets popular off the back of something, whatever, I'm not making a judgment. We just don't want, we don't want to do that. So... If there ever is a, a controversy to exploit, we downplay it instead of play it up, things like that. Don't forget about acting like you're colorblind. Ah, uh, I mean, I don't want to say, I don't want to say dude was acting or whatever, but uh, yeah, I was wondering if I became YouTube famous, will Lucasfilm or Disney come out to me because of my name, Jedi RJS? Maybe I don't think so. I think some of that stuff missed their purview. They can't, they can't deploy the hurt now. I think it depends how popular you got though. They might ask you to change. All right. Let me see if let me see if uh, let me see if salmon run is open. Did I have cancer? No, no, I didn't have cancer. I'm gonna play a couple rounds of salmon run. See, this is just how this shit happens. Look at all these meverse posts. Oh my god, hold on. Well done. So anyway, 
But yeah, uh, I guess a long-winded question, or a long-winded answer. Oh. Where are we at? See it? Reset. But it's the same thing. I already have that polo. I don't need cash either. Fuck it, I'll just... I'll do a video, whatever. Read the yelling match on a literal note. I accidentally clicked a YouTube video of a literal eight-year-old defending some guy named Logan Paul, and I'm hearing up in the video, hey guys, I'm Dylan, and I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratsby, yep. It's funny because the... Making YouTube videos has become very templatized, and everyone's trying to do it all the time. Imagine if, if in the 50s, everybody could make a sitcom, and everyone did it all the time. You would, like, you'd end up with some weird, weird zombie show that is the, it's like putting, putting content through natural selection, especially when people vote directly with their eyeballs, so there's, oh, got a brush and sand really interesting. So that's kind of what's happening with YouTube. For better or worse, it's the most democratic uh, platform ever. People vote with their eyes, and people, and since there's so much competition to be a YouTuber, that is directly what informs what gets made, how, and when. So every video you see is just the sum total of the human race expressing their desires and what what grabs their attention and what doesn't. I don't know the necessary. It doesn't necessarily mean it's like bottom of the barrel. Why is that fucking? But it does mean that I don't know. I don't think most things are necessarily curated or there's not a whole lot of inspiration going on. It's a lot of it's a lot of imitation and refinement. And sometimes not even aware refinement. It's like, I'm gonna do this thing too. Um, and hopefully I'm just better at it than the last guy. And maybe, maybe that person is. Just accidentally. Maybe their voice sounds a little bit better. Maybe their eyes are a little prettier. Maybe their hair is a little floppier. They don't know why they're more popular. They don't care. That was never the point. Well, I mean, to be popular was the point, but... It was never to make anything of value. It was to to imitate as, uh, what is perceived as a recipe for success. It's just weird, you know? It's weird. Because now, now the people making the content don't even care about the people consuming it. That was also never the point. They didn't make something for them. They made something to be... to make money. But people still consume it. It's weird. It's like... I don't care about the emotions of it. As long as people are watching. That's ultimately what it is. As long as they watch and finish. As long as they buy my shirts. Click the link in the description. Like and favorite. Get my back if I start some, some internet shit. If I start beef, I need to know that you'll do whatever I say. In a creepy way. You'll fill out petitions. You'll, uh... You'll hammer message boards, you'll send emails. I don't mind it. It's like the most... Most ridiculous, dystopian vision of, uh, of entertainment. Fuck, I can't kill this guy on my own. Alright, well, whatever. Go meet up with the running crew. Pretty good squad, though. As far as platoon run, or sorry, salmon run goes. Fucker. See you there, asshole. Shit, shit. What am I ranting about? YouTube. Go up the long way. Go up the elevator. Go up the stairs. Shit. Shit, shit, shit, shit. Let me up, let me up. Fuck. I didn't know he would kill me right there. There's your petition, topless me. Tartan. 
You're getting a little a little generous again, which I guess is just your nature. Um, but let me make it very clear to you: no amount of money that you donate or tip results in me doing anything other than playing, playing Splatoon for like maybe 15 more minutes. Why are we all here? A lot of people have been trying to figure that out. If you ask me, I think the most liberating answer is that there is no reason. Gives you a, it's a surprising amount of liberty when it comes to uh, your life and how you decide to lead it. You realize that maybe there's not a some grand design other than your own. Fuck, there's a lot of these guys. Alright. Watching this, I mean, you guys. Why are you here, man? That is a question I, I do not have the answer for. I mean, I like watching people play video games too, but I, uh, that whole system is another level of, uh, of absurd that I never was quite able to wrap my head around. How Twitch streaming can be a thing. Cleaning up with these golden eggs right now. Who? If you want to be mad at it, you want to be mad about anything. Be mad at the fact that there were talentless people who became rich and famous people because of vine. Kala, very well said. There were some very good vines, but on your honest opinion, is Splatoon 2 worth the 60 bucks? I mainly play PC games, but I got a Switch result in the new Mario. Thoughts? Um, Shay, if you like shooters. Yes, it's worth sixty dollars. Um, but if you don't like or don't want to play a multiplayer shooter, then no, it's not for you. I mean, that's a pretty obvious thing to say, but I, I whoops, well, I didn't mean that. Let me, is it too late to? Oops, <laughs> I was mashing every button. Nope. Ah, all right, well, one more shift. Get back from Game of Thrones. Whoop whoop. The idea that I could influence me with money's insulting. If only I could try anime. Anime would work. I uh, almost forgot I have great news. I did that pro show for stand-up. And I did so well that the other club said he was going to be moving forward with me in the future. And that there are going to be plenty of opportunities. Excellent. Antonius, I'm really glad to hear that. Cool. Congratulations, man. I'm just curious. I guess maybe it's not easy to put a, put a pin in it. But how long have you been working on that set? How long was it? Like, I'd say it was five? Damn, I hate those guys so much. Can't really do much about it with the weapon that I have now. Oh, thank god. Looks like I got more esports pros on my team, which I am 100% glad with. Nothing actually, like, I get more heated in Salmon Run than uh, multiplayer sometimes. I don't know what it is. Something about, like, co-op. Something about co-op makes me even angrier when my teammates... when I feel like they're dogging it. Which doesn't even mean they are. It could even be me, because that's how co-op goes. But... Oh, look at you guys. Launcher guy sucks. Please open your shit. Ugh. Whatever, I took him down. Uh oh. Oh no, there's one person that's up. We might die. I don't know where this last guy is. If he can stay alive for eight seconds. Oh, there he is. Good. Woo! 
Oh man, good for him. 15 months, I've been going for this go round, and don't worry, if I make it big, I'll be getting free tickets. Excellent, glad to hear it. No, it's more like I just wanted to, I wanted to have that gut check, right? Of That stuff is not free, it doesn't happen overnight. Losing PV is the worst offense to gaming. I'm really glad you said that, because it's true. I didn't know they could pop out of there. I mean, I'll be getting the golden fish. I don't have any new boss salmon is yet. Unless there's somewhere else. I'm just back here killing killing these like a stupid idiot. I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they'll be sp spawning eventually. Fuck! We're not gonna make the quota. What? I didn't spawn until the very end of the wave. That's not fair. How are we supposed to do that? Unless there were other ones that just didn't spawn. I don't understand. Hmm. Oh, it was hiding. Oh, okay. So we just didn't find it. Okay. Ah. Interesting. All right. The stuff I'm writing now is a hundred times better than the stuff I wrote three months ago, let alone the stuff I was writing before I started going up on stage. It's a really steep learning curve. I can see that, but I'm glad that glad that you uh, you found you found your way through it, or at least had your first big success. Oh, right, that reminds me. A lot of that. <laughs> this is the coolest thing in the world. Thank you, Rat, for making this. Man, look how cool that is. Shit, shit, that's cool. Well, anyway, thanks guys for watching. I'm sorry that it was I'm sorry that it was uh, a little shorter today um, when I got some stuff to do. <laughs> thanks, Darton. Um, and I love that I love that winking kappa. But uh, oh yeah, that was my other weekend project, which I'm so glad that I get to do dumb shit on the weekends now. I'm gonna finish Resident Evil Seven. I'm gonna do it. I think I'm at the end of the game, so I'm gonna finish finally do that. And then I think I might play it again on stream. Um, I wanted to play through it once on my own, because I also wanted to clean it, clean through it on, uh, VR. So, that's one thing. Closing, hey, closing thoughts with Lawrence. I was curious about doing it in VR, because I feel like that would make me scared and make for a better stream for you guys, but it also means I won't be able to reach chat at all. Unless I just hang, hang tough for, like, ten minutes. So, yeah, I'm curious, curious what that dynamic would be like. Would you rather see somebody who's, like, engaging, or... Would you rather uh, see somebody be a little more spooked out wearing a giant glowing helmet? I don't know. You can leave your impressions and we'll see. Uh, but, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a good upcoming week. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Always appreciate it.
Unutma, sen insansın. İnsan kuvvetini daima kötüleri yok etmek için kullanmalı. Ya, ya, ya. 